Okay, welcome back guys, it's Cringe Bag! And we're back with Venn Diagram questions and hopefully this section is very, very simple, very, very quick and I hope to just save you a lot of time. So if you follow me with, onto the iPad, you can see that there is a three-way Venn Diagram table. Um, let me just quickly write it down, three-way table. I'll link a video in the description box to explain how to form these tables. They're not going to ask you to do so, but it's good to know, especially when it comes to understanding this table. So let's just move a little bit down. Which of the following statements must be true? 75 employees in total. So now if you add up all the numbers, 17 plus 6, that's 23 plus 21 is 44 plus 4, 48 plus 8 plus 7, um, that's 7, 15, 63 plus 12, 75 plus 3, 78. Now, if it was just this that would be 75 but remember to include the three as well so it's 78 so this is wrong 19 employees drink at least two different types of coffee one of which is cappuccino at least remember at least can be two or more so if we look for the circle of cappuccino we know it's not going to be 12 at least is going to be 12 4 plus 8 which is 12 plus 9 which is 19 Hence, the statement is correct. Once you get a correct answer on this section and you've ensured that it's correct by clearly reading it, I would just say skip past it or skip past onto the next question. Don't try to check if all the other ones are correct. I wouldn't advise that, especially if you've practiced more than enough questions and you know that you're consecutively getting those questions right. But for the sake of video, I will go through the other questions. An even number of employees drink latte even number of employees drink latte you'd add the values in here we know six plus four plus eight they're even numbers plus 17 odd number so by default it's going to have to be an odd number and hence it's not an even number so that's also incorrect so yeah, i didn't have to add up everything you sort of find tricks and tips that you get from Medify to really help. Now if we go on to number four, we can see it says that at least one in every ten employees drink all three types of coffee. Now this value or these values in the table are not for all employees so by default we're going to know that's wrong and hence we know that the only feasible one is the second one and I hope that really explains it to you. So let's move on to the second. The plan is to go through these questions in roughly 30 to 40 seconds um, at a greater speed than how I'm going through it right now. Okay, so now it says, you can see the diagram there, and it says Spain, Germany, Italy, Luxembourg, Switzerland. And any intersections or any regions in which a number lies between two shapes is the intersecting region. So based on the diagram, which of the following combinations add up to 32? So let's go through one. Spain alone. Spain is that rhombus shape or parallelogram. Spain alone, 13. So 13, let's add that on. 13 plus Italy alone. Italy is the hexagon. I don't know, heptagon. That's eight, as we can see here. Um, Italy and Germany. Italy, hexagon, and where's Germany? The triangle. So 11 and we add that together, we get 19, 32, and hence we find the right answer almost instantly. So 21, 21 plus 11 is equal to 32, and we don't even need to go through the other examples. That's why I'm saying it's, as soon as you find the right example, you just go for it, and you skip to the next question, but we'll do it for the sake of the video. Luxembourg only, Luxembourg is that dome-shaped thing, so it's two, plus Spain only, Spain we know is the rhombus, 13, and Spain and Switzerland, Spain and Switzerland, six, we know almost instantly that's not 32, that's 21. So there you go, we know it's not gonna be this, Germany only and Germany and Luxembourg. Germany is the triangle, that's 16, 16, and Germany and Luxembourg, Germany sharing it with Luxembourg, four, that's equal to 20. Now we can see that the only ones that have 
anything close to 32 is the first one hence we stick with the right answer and I hope that's explained it to you. Now the shapes shown here is another way just to show you a different version of a Venn diagram. Expect to see these sorts of questions come up in the official test um, and you will be able to see them in like the UK CAT practice real tests on the UCAT website. But as I've said, these sort of questions are the easiest to get those marks, so the easy marks first. If you have very minimal time, I have an ebook that is present in the link description and that's my killer 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 tips essentially i explained them in the video but there are some tips in there that i haven't really explained basically catch you guys on the other side Why is it hard?